Welcome back to the uh, winter show at the Big Red Barn in Round Top, Texas. I'm Franz Helwig, dealer in American cut glass. Do you see anything in the videos that you would like, have questions about, or uh, would like emailed large photos that you can do close-ups? Please contact me. Also buying whole collections or rare pieces. And this is video two, and we will begin with this great 10 inch diameter bowl cut in Russian pattern. Um, possibly whore, also could be Dorflinger. Really cut to pieces. Um, Hawks is actually another possibility, but I don't know how often they did that rim. But a classic example in Russian, and it's a big piece at only $4.95. It's a great hair point cigarette holder. A beautiful floral engraving on the top. Has the trapped air bubbles in the solid base. It's four and a half inches tall and 235. I don't know that I've ever had one of these before. There's a spectacular footed vase, cobalt cut to clear. Most likely Val Saint Lambert. Beautifully cut with Top diamonds, fans, uh, strawberry diamond, uh, very fancy hop star cut foot, 14 inches tall. It's a very uh, impressive piece, nice quality, and it is $18.95. It's a pretty stout, heavy pitcher cut in Antoinette by Strauss. It's shown in the Strauss Macy catalog on page 32. Very thick, punty cut handle. Lots of nice detail in the design, and it's a nice buy at only $2.45. Cute little uh, pinwheel toothpick footed with a solid round ball in the stem. Star cut base. It's probably Clark. Uh, they did most of these, and it is $85. There's another name for this, but it's been called Duchess as far back as I can remember. This is one of those cut to pieces patterns, vesicas, um, hop star, star buttons. And it has a castle edge. It's got squared off teeth, which are original. Very, very deep cutting. This belong, came from the uh, Nick Boonstra collection. Nick was the editor of the hop star for many years when I first joined ACGA 27 years ago. All the pieces that he had in his collection were unique in one way or another and very distinctive. And this is an 8 inch diameter and it's a little bit deeper than typical at 4 inches and it is $6.95, I'm sorry. Here's a nice find, a footed covered casserole by Taylor Brothers, signed with their acid mark. I'm not certain that I've ever seen this blank before, or at least not owned it. Uh, it's excellent cutting, hop, huge Hobstar knob, Hobstar base. And it is $14.95. That's a pretty singular piece if you want something that you won't see in another collection. It's a great tulip pattern by J. Hoare Bowl. Another distinctive piece that you'll be hard pressed to find. Superb quality blank. Really neat cutting. Very, very unique. Nine inches in diameter, so it's sizable. Displays very well. $5.95. It's a tall 18 inch vase by J. Hoare. It's cut in the St. Louis pattern. It's shown in the catalog. Step cutting and fluting on top. Lots of great detail in the pattern of the body. And this has the fancy heavily pattern cut foot. It is $17.95. Another beautiful design is this star pattern or Cosmos, sometimes people refer to it by Tuthill. It's a 10 inch diameter tray, it's signed, and it's shown exactly on page 170 of the Rarities book, and it is 1095. Striking both in quality, cutting, and engraving. It's a beautiful 14 and a half inch tall corset base. Has a lot going for it. Really brilliant in display. It's cut in the St. Paul pattern by the Shotton Cut Glass Company. 
The ACGA just came out with a new catalog last year, and this piece is featured in it. And it's is a nice buy at only eleven ninety five. That's one of the better examples of shot and you'll ever see. Here's a great half gallon whiskey jug. It's cut in pattern eleven twelve, and it's shown on page sixty eight of the teal Jehor catalog. Really nice cutting, thick uh, double cut handle, step cut neck, and pattern cut collar. It has the original stopper. It is $24.95. It's a really rich colored cobalt base. Um, also probably by Val St. Lambert. It has quarter diamond cutting. Unusual block diamond cutting. Very heavy weight piece too. Um, great uh, example of color. And it's a nice buy at only $14.50. Always a classic 1 1 pattern is J. Hor's Comet, aka Lennox, is the real name. Uh, this is an unusual blank. It, the sides come straight up and down, and then the, the middle kind of tapers up. Great detail, central hob star. Really fine example of Comet by Libby, and it is $18.95. And again, it's a 1-1. One -one. Here's an impressive picture. Big, fat, bulbous piece. It's what I call a composite pattern, and it has to be by Elmira because it has all the elements of number 100 and number 17 and a half. Uh, it probably is a, a numbered pattern in a catalog that's never been discovered. Beautiful um, fan cutting it and uh, cross hatching at the top. Step cut neck, big thick triple diamond handle. It's an impressive piece in person. The photos are not going to illustrate how good this piece is. It is $14.95. It's a scarcely seen pattern. It's Libby's flutes and raised diamond base. It has an interesting shape, wide bottom, and then tapers very tightly in. Um, it's got raised diamonds alternating with the flute cutting. It's 12 inches tall, and it is 325. Classic, everybody's favorite, 1-1 one, one rated Snowflake and Holly by Sinclair. This is about as good as it gets in patterns. Uh, beautiful geometric cutting, really nice holly cutting around the border. It's signed, 10 inches diameter, and it is $24.95. I also have one of these in my personal collection. Here's a smaller version of the Shotton St. Paul pattern base by Shotton Cut Glass Company. Again, this is shown in the new ACGA catalog. Very fine, heavy blank, lots of detail cutting. 12 and a quarter inches tall, and it is $7.95. It's a nice set of flute candlesticks. Really kind of obnoxious with all the steps that went into it. The fluted candle cuff, the big sort of squared off fluted knobs, then a vesica shaped center with a great hollow teardrop, another block above the foot, and then a six-sided foot. Twelve and a quarter inches tall. I'm guessing this is Val Saint Lambert or Baccarat possibly. I've never tried to black light it. Uh, 275 for the set. And then here's a huge um, either Czech or Hungarian footed vase in cobalt cuts it clear. I'm guessing this is 1960s. Sort of a step cut squared base, floral engraving, hop swirling hop star panels, uh, 16 and a half inches tall, it's big, and it is $7.95. So, really nice looking cranberry cuts a clear compote by Pet Point. Lovely diamond with little punties in the center border and then pretty polished engraving and fine miter cutting around the edge 
It's 8 inches diameter and 375. And our last piece in video two is this big 16 inch tall vase, possibly by Meriden. Just got, out, got it out of a collection. Pop stars are the primary details and fans. Big piece and it's only 225. And that concludes video two. Thank you.